Thank you to everyone who attended to the Insolvency Commission's afternoon of webinars on the 10th of November. The day started with a lively debate on rights and wrongs of state intervention in insolvency procedures, and most participants agreed that states should intervene, but under certain circumstances. We also heard about the different approaches taken by countries in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. You can learn more about this in the Insolvency Commission's Jurisdictional Guide on the IESIA website. And while we could not meet in person, Commission members met up, caught up and relaxed with a drink during our virtual home hospitality. We look forward to seeing you all in 2021. Aisha witnessed its very first session that was entirely devoted to public procurement law. First of all, the discussion revealed that in particular where a company has to be replaced, some legal questions and some various uh, consequences must be kept in mind. A second result of the discussion was that antitrust law must be kept in mind as well when agreeing to a joint bidding structure. On the proposal of the European Commission announced in June uh, this year to introduce a new exclusion ground based on state aid from so-called third countries to companies that are participating in a public procurement proceeding in order to receive a European public contract. The public procurement group is here and you will hear from us in future AISHA events. We look forward to meet you there. If I'm part of such a contract, I would have the same interest as in other contract structures, avoid any risk as regards costs, as regards quality, as regards deadlines. How can we align the interest? First, this question to you, Johannes, and then perhaps to the participants. It's all about everyone coming together with the same goal, and then you have to share the risk. So uh, I just uh, practiced to maintain my smile during this lockdown. Okay, thank you very much. I am originally from Naples, Napoli, in southern Italy, where with Bern and the Real Estate Commission, we are organizing an event in 2022. So that means the last five years, we have been all lobbying about how important legal tech is, but nobody really appreciated it. Zack, but this year it happened. And so when the House Council are looking at their at, at their workload and, and they're noticing there's a there's a percentage of work that they're doing that is very simple data entry, uh, sort of a lot of repetitive, what we call busy work. And the question is, how can we get rid of that, open up more time for strategic thinking uh, and, and better serving our clients? Henry Ford said that uh, if he asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. They're on the right track to recovery. But for that, we have to, there will be airlines leaving, there's going to be consolidation. But yes, first things first, public safety and health is first. Getting COVID under control, getting regulatory environment kind of coordinated within Europe. And then we start flying when this is over in a controlled manner. 